One of the most infamous lines from the speech at the Republican National Convention by Congressman Paul Ryan, the unemployment rate for that age group, the young people, is double that of the national average, leaving many voters under the age of 24 living at home with mom and dad. So will that swing former Obama supporters, the young people, to the Romney Ryan ticket? Joining me now is a recent college grad, Max Rice. He voted for President Obama. So. Now he's unemployed and just moved out of his parents' home. Good morning to you, Max. Hello, Miss, Miss USA. It's an honor. Uh, Miss America. I wish I could see but, you. But, but close enough. Miss America. Um, Miss Universe, in my book, in my book. Oh, okay. Well, well thank you very much. Um, now, tell me your story. You believed in uh, the hope and change of President Obama, and so you voted for him. And, and tell me about the next three oh, and a half years. I was a huge Obama supporter in 2008. I, I met him in third grade. I met him when I was little. Okay. And why now are you supporting Mitt oh, Romney? Oh, what's your question? Why now are you supporting Mitt Romney? Uh, why am I supporting Mitt Romney? It's actually a funny story. I lost a basketball game to a friend of mine, Alex Dern, who's a huge supporter of this show. Okay, so it sounds like you're not being very serious. But I'm, also about this. I'm also disappointed in uh, the direction that Obama's taking this nation. But in yeah, I will way? be casting my ballot for Mitt Romney. Okay. And uh, is it true that you had to go back and live with your parents after you graduated from college? Oh, yeah, after I went to college for a bit, I had to go back and live with my parents this summer. I'm back on my own, independent. I'm on national TV. I feel like I'm doing good. It's an honor. Okay, well, are you being serious about this interview or not? Yeah. Okay. I well, can't see your face right now. This is so weird. All right. Well, actually, we're going to wrap this up now because I'm not so sure that you're actually oh, being are? totally serious about... Uh, I, I am. Wait, 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 wait. Why not? Yeah, I'm not Gretchen, sure that I'm not sure that you're ready for for prime time yet with this interview. I'm not ready for prime time. Wait, I've been this is I've been All right. We're going to give Max another chance maybe when he's ready to do the interview. In the meantime, coming up on Fox and Friends, gas prices up 16 cents from just 1 month ago. So why isn't the president talking more about this issue?